Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trade Masters. So today's video will be looking at Hindrad Home Innovation. So this is a small cap industry as well. And uh, the current, the market capitalization of uh, Hindrad is uh, somewhere around 2,500 crores. So it is well below the 5,000 crore mark. So it comes under the classification of a small cap industry. And the current market price of Hindrad is around the 341 rupees per share. And the face value is 2 rupees. And uh, uh, we'll be looking at the face value and the book value in the later part of this video. Okay, so basically Hinder Home Innovation is a consumer appliances uh, type of company. It produces a lot of uh, kitchen appliances like chimneys, built-in knobs, uh, dishwashers, uh, built-in ovens, cooking range, and water purifiers, etc. So you might have heard of the name of Hinder in a lot of uh, TV ads, uh, or you might be using the, their products in your home as well. So this is a uh, <clears throat> this is a consumer appliances producing software. Okay, so let's get into the technical viewpoint. The time frame that I'm using is a four hour time frame over here. And the first technical indication what we see over here is, I'm switching over to daily time frame to show it a little bit here. So the first technical indication is a trend line breakout. So this is the trend line over here. And we have a clear cut breakout in, uh, in pair somewhere around the 1st of September. So we have a clear strong breakout. And after that, it uh, made high to 410. And right now it is coming down to retest. But this is not the only technical pattern that is formed in Hindwell. We also have one more pattern. Okay, so that pattern is a inverted head and shoulder pattern over here. Right, so we have an inverted head and shoulder pattern as well that is formed in Hindwell. Right, so this is a Hindwell head and shoulder pattern over here. And uh, the same pattern, if you look at uh, the trend line pattern and inverted head and shoulder pattern, uh, breakout happened on the same day. The triangle that uh, uh, candle was so, so strong that it broke out both those uh, resistance zones. So this was this area was uh, basically acting as a resistance over here. And uh, this one around the 355 was also acting as a resistance. And it broke both those resistance in a single daily candle. So that is how the uh, powerful this breakout was. And right now the stock is coming down to uh, you know, retest once again the breakout zone. So basically, uh, my entry price over here is uh, buy in dips, but I'm not going to you know keep on adding it in dips. So I'll tell you my uh, uh, viewpoint on the stock and how I'm going to trade in this particular stock. Okay, so coming to the best buying zone. So this this 300 levels is going to be my best buying zone. So I'm going to mark it in blue so that. Yeah, so this is going to be my best buying zone. So I, let me just plot it over here so that it is easy for everyone. So this is going to be my best buy price. Okay, but we exactly don't know whether uh, you know Indra will be coming down and touching uh, 300 levels. We don't know that for sure, right? So what we can do in this particular script, what I'm going to do in this particular script is I'm going to enter only 20, 10 or 20 percent each, uh, somewhere around 330 to 340. So maybe 10 percentage I'll be entering at the current market price of 342, and maybe another 10 percentage I'll be entering at 330, not more than that. Okay, so when it touches my best buying price of 300, I'll be entering 80 percentage only at that particular price. Maybe 300, 300 to 310, I'll be entering the remaining 80 percentage. So the reason is that uh, <clears throat> the target is uh, pretty much huge. I'll be telling about the targets as well. But the reason is that my uh, viewpoint is I have to bring my average buying price a lot down for me to mint more amount of profits. Right. So the, the gap between 300 and 340 is a little bit big. So I don't want to, you know, uh, invest more at the current market price. But at the same time, I don't want to lose this trade if the stock reverses from the current market price. So that is why I'm investing only 10 to 20 percentage at the current market price uh, till 330. And remaining 80 percentage, I'll be investing somewhere around 300 to 310. That is going to be my best buying price. Okay. So coming to the stop loss, uh, you can keep a stop loss anywhere below uh, the low of uh, 260, maybe uh, 255 to 260, you can keep your, keep it as a stop loss. That is, uh, you know, a valid level of stop loss, what we can, be safe and valid level of stop loss, what we can uh, keep for this particular script. And the targets, so the target one is going to be 370 is going to be my target one. 
Now, uh, from the current market price, target one is uh, pretty close. That is because uh, I'm expecting this script to come down a little bit more. Uh, so that is why my target one is going to be freezed at uh, 370. But you don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about that because uh, this I'm expecting this stock to come a little bit down, and uh, after that, uh, give move upside to give my targets. And my final target is going to be 454. That is the previous side. Sorry, 453. That is the previous side. So this is going to be my final target. Okay, so in case if the stock is reversing from here itself, then you can uh, patiently hold you with your 20% uh, uh, you know, uh, investment in this particular script and you can wait for target uh, 2 to be done within a period of 7 months. Okay, so target 1 is going to be 370 and my target 2 is going to be 453. So once my uh, target 2 is done, uh, I'll be booking uh, somewhere around 70% of this particular uh, uh, stock and the remaining 30% I'll be holding it for as a long term investment because I believe this stock can uh, you know, grow a lot more in the long term. That is what I believe in this particular script. Okay, so uh, before before giving the uh, the holding period for this particular impact company, let me just uh, look at some of the fundamentals of this company as well. So the market capitalization is 2,400 crores and the book value is 72 rupees. So this is uh, this book value is basically uh, the market valuation price of uh, uh, impact home innovation. So we don't have to worry about this because it is a well-performing company and uh, a lot of well-performing companies are on a much, much further higher side than the book value. So we don't have to worry about that. And if you look at the quarterly results, the company has been generating consistent profits, right? And if you look at the profit and loss treatment on a yearly basis, uh, this company was, uh, you know, introduced into NSC somewhere in 2019. So from 2019, it has been generating consistent profits and the profits has been consistently going up, right? So that is the important thing what we need to note over here. The profits has been consistently going up, right? And uh, the most important thing is the shareholding pattern. So the promoters have basically bought back some of the shares and they are, right now they are holding 51.3 percentage shares in Inbev. So any any uh, promoters that are holding more than 50 percentage shares is, uh, is a warm welcoming sign for the growth of this company. And in Inbev, uh, the promoters are holding 51.3 percentage shares. So we don't have to worry about that as well. Uh, but the most important thing what I wanted to show over here is the uh, investment of FIS and DIS. If you look at the involvement of FIS and DIS in the last three quarters, See, the DIS have basically started buying these shares. So from 5.83 in the last two quarters, they have increased the shareholding potential to 6.5. So this means that we are in line with the big money. So you need to be in line with the big money to make a lot of profit in the market. So the DIS, when they are accumulating, you also need to accumulate into the particular stock. Uh, once the stock starts moving, when they uh, you know distribute the stock, you also need to distribute it and book your profits and come up. So that is how money is made in the market. So from here, uh, when you're looking at the shareholding uh, potential of the DIS, they're basically increasing the shareholding uh, you know, potential in this particular script for the last three quarters. And we are also planning to invest in this particular script uh, at the current market price and in dips till uh, 300. So we are also in line with the DIS and it is a welcoming sign as well. And the FIS also started to buy back the shares from 3% uh, have increased their holding potential to 3.18%. So they're also uh, coming back into this particular script and we can expect the script to move up in the coming few weeks and months. So that is a indication of this. <clears throat> so let me get back into the technical viewpoint. Okay, so to summarize uh, today's technical viewpoint, uh, Hindwar uh, has a uh, has a clear cut trend line pattern breakout and we also have an inverted head and shoulder pattern breakout at the same time as well and uh, the current market price is at 342 so 20 percent 10 to 20 percentage you can enter the current market price and remaining 80 percentage buy only when it reaches to the point of 300 to 310 so the reason is that you need to bring your average buying price a lot lower for you to make more amount of returns in this particular strip. so that is the idea behind it and my target one is going to be 370 and my target two is going to be 453. So these are going to be my two targets. Okay, so the time period for my final target of 453 to reach is anywhere between five months to seven months. So this is a short term investment script and the maximum uh, holding period for uh, a target uh, two of 453 is going to be only seven months, right? So when you look at the profit potential, <coughs> sorry. So when you look at the profit potential as well, let's assume that the 300, uh, the stock came down to 300 and once my final target is done, I'll be making approximate returns of 50 percentage. Right, so 50 percentage is going to be the uh, profit potential, uh, what I'm expecting out of Inver uh, Home Innovation once my target uh, 2 of 453 is done. 
So this is going to be my best uh, best uh, profit potential scenario. And if you look at uh, if you look at the risk reward statement as well, so once my target two is done, I'll be making an approximate risk reward of one is to four. So for a risk of only one point, your reward is going to be uh, four points. So that is a pretty good risk reward ratio as well, and I can live with that risk reward ratio anytime. Okay. So that's it pretty much uh, for the technical viewpoint on Hindware uh, Home Innovation. I hope this video was useful and I hope you learned some informative stuff from this video. Uh, please do like our videos if you find my analysis interesting and please do share our videos with your friends and family members so that they can also benefit from the predictions that we make. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and show us your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.